blending original concepts with well-known chain restaurants, from hot dogs to linguine and clams, CityWalk at Universal Orlando has you covered for every palette and price, provided that price isn't very low. With so many different options to choose from, you may need a helping hand in deciding where to spend your money within this popular dining district. Hi, I'm the Frugal Brit, and for this video, I will outline my ranking of the top 10 best restaurants at Universal's City Walk Orlando. My ranking is based on a combination of my experiences, my friends' experiences, but I've also done heavy research of online reviews to make it as objective as possible. And given the name of my channel, I do allow my ranking to be influenced quite a bit by good value, which is why I have included a few quick service choices in my ranking. And also, I'll be sure to emphasize the prices for all the restaurants on my list. Ranking restaurants is always tricky. There are a couple controversial omissions in here, so please let me know in the comments if you disagree with anything to help provide a bit of balance. With that said, let's get into it. At number 10 in my ranking is the vibrantly colored Antojitos authentic Mexican food. Its festive exterior and equally colorful interior filled with birdcage booths and neon drawn Lucha Libra caricatures which when combined with live mariachi music setting the tone, provides a compelling Mexican theme. Antojitos translates as the Mexican equivalent of Spanish tapas, so the appetizers play a big part here. This restaurant is located on the south end of City Walk next to Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. Antojitos is on the cheaper end of the restaurants in my ranking. An appetizer costs between eight and $15, but averaging around $12. The entrees range between $13 and $25. I'd personally recommend the Mari Tierra House Special. Those that enjoy Antojitos appreciate its energetic atmosphere, the extensive selection of custom cocktails, the creative interpretations of Mexican classics. Those that didn't often refer to the occasionally sketchy service and some feel they'd been to better value Mexican restaurants elsewhere. At number 9 is the Quick Service Hot Dog Hall of Fame restaurant, which aims to cover all bases with America's most iconic hot dogs, everything from a sauerkraut New York dog and poppy seed buns from Chicago, to authentic Milwaukee bratwurst and a relish-covered Boston dog. You can sit in stadium-style seating, walk on artificial turf and kick back in the bleachers which contain some seats from former baseball stadiums. Keep in mind that whilst the seating has shade and shelter, it's outdoor only. Hot Dog Hall of Fame is located on the south end of City Walk on the left when facing Antojitos. Most of the hot dogs come in around $10 and a side of fries will cost you $3. I would personally recommend the Chicago Dog. Those who enjoyed it appreciated the authentic selection of different hot dogs and the variety of toppings, the outdoor stadium feel, However, there were some who had different expectations for a hot dog, and the price doesn't help with these expectations. At number eight is Red Oven Pizza Bakery, which is a mix between table service and quick service restaurant. It's Neapolitan style pizzas, which are ordered by the pie instead of the slice, are cooked out in front of you in its 900 degree stone lined oven, which takes approximately 90 seconds to do the job and you can enjoy one of these on the go if preferred with its takeout window. A fairly sizable wine menu helps add a touch of the old world to the proceedings. Red Oven is located close to the entrance with your back to the parking garages on the left hand side after Bubba Gums. In terms of pricing, all the pizzas come in at around $15, which makes it a solid choice if you're on a budget on Universal property. Those that enjoyed Red Oven Pizza Bakery appreciated the decent value without cutting corners with quality. Those that didn't often had a different idea of how a pizza should be made, and some have described the service as having declined a tiny bit over the years. At number seven is the Toothsome Chocolate Emporium and Savory Feast Kitchen. This steampunk and chocolate themed eatery allows you to indulge in classic dishes like steak and seafood, as well as an all day brunch menu featuring crepes and quiches, each with their own modern twist. The story of this extravagantly themed restaurant is brought to you by Professor Dr. Penelope Thibault Tinker Toothsome, 
who travelled the globe in the early 19th century learning different ways to infuse chocolate into all sorts of dishes. As a result, Penelope Toothsome highly encourages you to save room for her highly Instagrammable desserts ranging from gourmet chocolates, artisanal milkshakes to sumptuous sundaes. Toothsome is hard to miss in City Walk with its giant smokestacks and other steam-powered machinery located in between Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios. This restaurant is one of the more expensive restaurants in my ranking. The appetizers range between $8 and $14 and the entrees range from $18 to $30. The burgers will cost around $15 and the milkshakes and sundaes cost between $13 and $15. Those who enjoy Toothsome love the Disney caliber theming, the fun atmosphere, the wide selection of aesthetically pleasant food and desserts. Those who didn't felt that whilst the theming is a lot of fun, you can get the same quality food elsewhere for a little bit less. I would say if you're a fan of the Cheesecake Factory, then I think you'll get a lot out of this, which has a similar approach but of course, much better theming at Toothsome. Up next at six is one of City Walk's newest restaurants that welcomes you with modern rustic inspiration drawn from the nostalgia of cooking over open flames during memorable family vacations, making you feel as though you've entered a lakeside summer house. Open fire cooking is centre stage where elevated American fare like steaks and freshwater cuisine are given the fire kiss treatment with pairings of different woods, flavouring your meal with smoky goodness. Big Fire is situated in the middle of City Walk opposite the Hard Rock on the other side of the lagoon and next to the Margaritaville restaurant. In terms of cost, Big Fire sits in the upper middle range, a shareable appetizer will cost between $8 and $15, and an entree will cost between $20 and $30. But the burgers are a little bit cheaper at $16 to $17. I can personally recommend the Bison Burger here. Those that enjoyed Big Fire appreciated the laid back atmosphere, the lakeside theming with an open fire kitchen. Some within the minority that didn't enjoy Big Fire felt that some of the food was high on smokiness in absence of seasoning, although that is intentional. Also weirdly, I know a couple friends that said that their steaks weren't cooked the way they'd asked, but could just be a coincidence. Halfway through the ranking at number 5 is Bubba Gump Shrimp Company which since 1996 has been entertaining guests with a charming down-home style that's been a hit around the globe. Serving up versatile seafood along with a host of southern favourites from award-winning baby back ribs to fried chicken, fresh fish dishes and homemade desserts. With this restaurant being themed on the Bubba Gump character in the Forrest Gump movie, you can browse movie-inspired merchandise and can expect to be tested on your knowledge of various aspects of the movie. Bubba Gump's is impossible to miss with it being the first restaurant at the City Walk entrance. This is one of the more expensive restaurants in City Walk. The calamari appetizer costs $10.79 and most of the entrees fall between $20 and $30. Those that enjoyed Bubba Gump's praise the effort put into the theming which is a lot of fun and definitely helps if you're a fan of the movie. Those that didn't enjoy Bubba Gump's often point to the long queues to get in at busy times, the occasionally rushed service and the above average prices for this kind of food. Also, some saying the quality of the seafood should be better given how close you are to the ocean. At number four is the forever popular Hard Rock Cafe, the largest of its kind around the world. With large statuesque pillars, it's styled majestically like a Roman Colosseum, making it one of the main centerpieces of City Walk Orlando. Inside, it serves American cuisine and features a museum of rock. This restaurant is located on the northwest side of City Walk, sitting between the entrances to Universal Studios Florida and Islands of Adventure. Pretty hard to miss. Hard Rock Cafe is one of the more expensive restaurants in City Walk Orlando. A typical burger entree will cost around $20, and the baby back ribs entree costs $30. This restaurant is known for being a bit of a tourist trap, and deservedly so, I think it's fair to say. However, it is extremely popular, and many agree that it is very rare that you'll get a bad meal at a Hard Rock Cafe, assuming you're into American cuisine. 
The cool rock memorabilia is of course a huge draw to these establishments and a lot of fun to explore. Those that didn't enjoy it were not appreciative of how incredibly busy and loud it can get and that the service can sometimes feel a little rushed and hectic. Also, definitely not the best value choice in City Walk Orlando. At number three is the Cowfish Sushi Burger Bar, which is a colourful East meets West fusion restaurant offering a cutting edge fusion of sandwiches known as burgushi made with sushi stuff and sushi built burger stuff. This is certainly a place where you are encouraged to take a few culinary risks, but there are some more familiar choices available if needed. The innovation isn't limited to just the entrees. You can sip on milkshakes, premium sakes, beers and exotic martinis. If you are prepared, be sure to make a reservation several days in advance for this extremely popular restaurant at City Walk. Cowfish is located on the left-hand side of the walkway as you enter from the parking garages, next to Vivo Italian Kitchen. In terms of cost, Cowfish is one of the cheaper table service restaurants in my ranking. Your appetizers range between $8 and $15, and a typical entree will cost you roughly $16 to $18. If you do decide on cowfish, don't overlook the milkshake menu as many people head to cowfish solely for these. Those who enjoy cowfish tend to appreciate the bright and quirky atmosphere with its unique menu and fabulous presentation. Those who didn't enjoy it typically struggled to handle the creative menu and some felt that the portions could have been bigger. Speaking of enjoyment, if you've enjoyed this video so far, please leave a like to help the channel out and hit subscribe if you're into Orlando content. My penultimate pick at number two is Breadbox Handcrafted Sandwiches, which is City Walk's answer to the Earl of Sandwich quick service chain, but in my opinion, significantly better. The menu has a wide selection of grilled cheeses, house-made soups, milkshakes, and various sandwiches that are fresh to order with quality meats and vegetables. Breadbox is a quick service option located on the second level of City Walk on the north side. The cost of the sandwiches typically range between $10 and $12, but that would not include a side such as fries. Those who enjoyed Breadbox appreciated that it provides a healthier choice than most other quick service options in City Walk, providing fresh and flavoursome sandwiches within a light and friendly atmosphere. In my opinion, easily the best quick service option for a quick bite to eat in City Walk. Those that didn't enjoy Breadbox felt that by spending a little bit more, you can get a more substantial meal within City Walk. At number one in my ranking is Vivo Italian Kitchen, one of the most popular Italian restaurants in Orlando. Celebrate the beauty of Italian cuisine at this classy but relatively casual table service restaurant where the menu is filled with comfortingly familiar Italian dishes and features a sophisticated contemporary decor. Its open expo kitchen allows you to glimpse piping hot pizzas emerging from the oven and watch the chefs make fresh bread, sauce, mozzarella and pasta before your eyes. Vivo's wine bar also offers a variety of Italian inspired cocktails and a full bar. This restaurant is situated near the centre of City Walk on the left hand side with your back to the parking garages and next to Cowfish. Vivo is one of the cheaper table service restaurants at City Walk Orlando. Entrees will typically cost between $15 and $25. A wood stove pizza will range from $15 to $17. I would highly recommend the Squid Ink Seafood which comes in at $21. Those who enjoyed Vivo loved the tasty, fresh Italian food, the friendly, accommodating staff, the relaxed atmosphere. From a value perspective, this is the best restaurant on Universal property, which helped it to take my top spot. Those that didn't enjoy it often had bad experiences with the wait times, which can get a bit out of hand at busy times, so be sure to book a table in advance. And lastly, it can get quite loud at this restaurant with all the hard surfaces. Well that's it for this video, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you found it useful, it really helps the channel out a lot. And leave a comment if your favourite was on the list, but also if you disagreed with anything in there. Lastly, if you're interested in future Orlando vacation content, don't forget to subscribe.